Hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at my Rubber Toe Replica's fourth Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. And here it is here in its display box. So yeah, this is sort of a new screwdriver. We've never taken a look at it on the channel before, uh, but it has been in my collection for... Uh, about a year now, I picked this up in April last year. Um, so yeah, I thought it was probably about time we'd uh, take a look at it. So here it is here in its display box, and it's pretty basic. It's pretty much the same box that we saw with the uh, 11th Doctor's second edition Sonic screwdriver. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. And let's go, let's open it up. So you can see, uh, as soon as we open it here, we have a document. Um, an A4 piece of paper with lots of information on, um, basically talks a bit about the prop and the replica and some care instructions, stuff like that. But we don't really need to look at that now. Uh, we also have the certificate of authenticity and a very nice one at that. It, it looks pretty good. I'm a big fan of uh, the design of this certificate. You see, we've got to be diamond doctor who logo in the middle which is actually the current doctor who logo again so that's pretty cool uh we've got the screwdriver on the side here and the side here fourth doctor's sonic screwdriver by rubber toe replicas certificate of authenticity number 211 out of 500 and of course it's signed by the man himself nick rabato so yeah this is number 211 uh, out of 500, no, because they didn't actually make 500. I'm not, not sure how many they actually made, but yeah, it wasn't 500. Turning to the back, we have this beautiful image of the fourth Doctor, Mr. Tom Baker. It looks pretty good, another Diamond Doctor Who logo. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good image. You know, I do like the certificate. Very nice, very nice. So pop that over here as well with the document. And this is the box, so you can see once you take this part of the cover off, there we go, the reveal of the Sonic Screwdriver. So you can see it does look pretty nice. It's packed in there quite well, so the box does hold it quite nicely. And you see we get the big diamond Doctor Who logo in the middle of the, uh, well it's not in the middle, in the bottom corner of the box there. And in the middle we have the Sonic Screwdriver itself and the stand in the top right corner. So yeah, let's pop the screwdriver out. Pretty cool. I'll just pop it down for a mo. And we'll take the stand out as well. And this part of the stand. And you know what, we'll take these bits out as well. Okay. So yeah, that's the box. I'll just pop that, uh, yeah, I'll probably leave it there. So the stand, let's take a look at the stand. So this is the base of the stand and it is a pretty good stand. I am a big fan of this stand as well. You know, it, it holds it pretty well and it looks good. And that's, that's all I want in a stand, you know? So it's also signed by Nick and it's got the 211 number. Rubber toe replicas, fourth doctor's sonic screwdriver and the Diamond Doctor Who logo. So yeah, pretty cool. Just put this acrylic tube in there. It'll click in. And then there you go. You can pop the screwdriver in the stand and that's it. Doesn't it look good? And you know what? It doesn't, uh, it's not gonna fall out. It's not gonna fall over. Look at that. That's a good stand. That's a good stand. Let's take a look at the screwdriver itself of course, and uh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, it's, um, you know, as of right now, I would say it's probably the best classic screwdriver that I have in my collection. I do have a lot of the RB replicas, uh, so RB replica sonic screwdrivers and they are very good I've got quite a few of them big fan of them but you know this this takes the crown this takes the crown this is the ultimate classic <laughs> but um, yeah you can see it's got real nice paintwork on the emitter a lot of detail has gone into this a lot of work from rubber toe and the team that you know put this together um, a lot of people 
came together to, you know, bring all the info they had on this version of the prop and made this um, replica. I think it's like 90, well, it says on the Robotel web website, it's like 98 point something percent accurate, but it's, 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 it's not that accurate, but it's, it's the most accurate we've got right now at, at this moment. Um, but hopefully, you know, soon, uh, <coughs> little, little shot props, <laughs> we'll have some more to look at, but, um, but yeah, that's, we'll talk about that at a later time. But yes, yeah, right now we're, we're taking a look at this. So you can see uh, the, the amount of work and detail that's gone into this is pretty, pretty good. It, it is the, uh, the ultimate classic, the ultimate classic. So um, I could probably just show you the sounds here. So yeah, if you didn't guess already, it's the character options uh, classic sound chip that's in there. Um, so it's not the best sound chip, but it has sound, which is the main thing. And if you don't want it to have sound, if you want it to be a bit more accurate to the, you know, the actual prop that, that didn't have sound, it was, uh, you know, you can just take the rod and the spring and then, you know, take the bottom off here, which is just pressure fitted. Um, I haven't actually taken it off for a long time, so I'm not sure if it will actually come out. <laughs> there we go. So the bottom just pops off there. And this is where the sound chip is. So you can just... So yeah, you could take that out if you wanted to, and you could fit the rod and the spring. And then, you know, it would just be, um, just be spring loaded, I guess. It wouldn't have any sound effects, which is, you know, some people want it like that, that's fine. But um, I've got a lot of classic screwdrivers that, you know, don't have sound. So, um, this one has a sound chip, I might as well, might as well use it. But yeah, not too bad. You can see it's got a nice um, sort of speaker grill material there just to hide the electronics, which is cool. And obviously if you take that out, you can just see in there. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. Moving up to the top part, you can see the middle ring, um, the activation ring, I guess you could call it, has got the weathered sort of metal tape that's on there, you know, because obviously when the third doctor had this screwdriver, um, it was covered in tape and then they sort of refurbished it for the fourth doctor and it left a bit of the metallic sort of foil tape on the activation ring. So we can see we've got some uh, sort of remnants of that sort of, well, it's made to look like that anyway. So you can see it's got the white there showing through and you know, you can see the foil on there if you look closely. So it's good attention to detail there. And I really do like the top part of the screwdriver. So um, if we bring in the RB replicas here, you can see what I'm talking about a bit there. So, you know, I am a big fan of the RB replicas, but when we, when we compare it to this, you know, this is, this is the ultimate classic. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I do like the bullet on the halo, which is the uh, emitter ring here. And it's also painted with the, you know, I suppose accurate burgundy red, as opposed to the, you know, emitter ring that we get on the RB replicas, which is just the anodized red, uh, which does look good. Um, but you know, this is this is more accurate. This is closer to the original prop, which is, you know, what we want at the end of the day. Uh, turning to the back of the emitter, which is the magnet section, you can see this one's at an angle. Um, so obviously the, the prop over the years, the magnet moved slightly, I think. So it was, it was always to the side. I've seen it at the side a few times. So um, when I got this one, it was like this and I haven't moved it because, you know, I, I quite like it. I think it looks like it's in a good position. And uh, yeah, you can also extend the emitter because it is on a rod. So you can, ex 
extend the emitter upwards like that. And it is actually seen extended uh, quite a few times over the, uh, over the years uh, of use of this screwdriver. So it is accurate. And that is a cool feature that, you know, not a lot of other classic screwdriver replicas have. So I am a big fan of that. And, you know, it's just another one of them things, the attention to detail of, um, of this replica. So, yeah, I do quite like it, to be honest with you. I'll just pop it um, in the stand. I don't think it will stand up right properly. But uh, here's the RB replicas, which, you know, I do. This is what I've had a lot of RB replicas over the years. And, you know, I still have a fair few of them. And I do like them. But, you know, when we're comparing them to the rubber toe, it is, you know, hands down going to be the rubber toe, of course. Um, but if you were comparing it to the toy as well, you know, if it was the a choice between the RB replicas and the toy, then, oh, definitely take, take the uh, RB replicas, which is, you know, sort of gone from the toy to the RB replicas and then onto the rubber toe, you know, the, the progression. <laughs> but, um, you know, soon we'll have some, hopefully some other classic screwdrivers uh, coming out because originally I was hoping uh, that rubber toe replicas would be releasing a third Doctor's and fifth Doctor's sonic screwdriver. But, um, you, you know, it's been a long time since this was released now and he didn't even make all 500 of these, you know. Um, I think he only made probably about 300 or 200 and something um so yeah so i i missed out on this originally which is why i picked it up on ebay uh last year because i didn't have one and i thought i want one <laughs> but uh yeah now i now i got this you know i was wanting uh the other classic screwdrivers but it doesn't seem doesn't seem that rubber toe is doing any classic screwdrivers at the moment uh but luckily little shop props are so they'll be doing the three versions of the third doctor's sonic screwdriver the two versions of the fourth doctor's screwdriver and a version of the fifth doctor's screwdriver and plus a few others apparently so that's pretty good that's probably the best place uh to get a classic sonic screwdriver replica because obviously rubber toe aren't making these anymore um, the ones that I have seen pop up on eBay recently have gone for, I think there's one on eBay at the moment for about a thousand pound, which is ridiculous. But little shop props, uh, you know, you could probably get one for about 350. They're literally the most accurate you could get. You know, this is the, this is the most accurate that I have at the moment. Um, but as soon as we get the little shop props, sonic screwdrivers, uh, they will be the most accurate. If you, if you want a classic screwdriver, you know, if you wanted one of these and you missed out and, you, you know, they're too expensive now, the best option would be check out little shop props and get some classic screwdrivers from them. Because, that you know, that's what I'm doing, so I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as for this screwdriver, it's pretty cool. Um, I probably will keep it because, you know, it's it's a rubber toe. It's, it's the brand, isn't it? You know, it's, it's the rubber toe. But um, yeah, I don't know when we'll be getting the classic screwdrivers from Little Shop Props, but I'll probably do a video on them and maybe even do a little comparison between that and the rubber toe. But yeah, good things to come, good things to come. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Until the next time then, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.